hi guys so this is the next video in the chapter 13 series so today we'll be looking into examining suitable methods for stock controlling now let's look into what stock controlling means stock controlling maintaining stocks at an optimum level with a low cost in order to maintain the continuity of the manufacturing process optimum stock holding stocks in a way which does not create any shortages or excess of stocks. Importance of stock control to continue the production and marketing activities without any stoppages. To reduce the cost of holding excess. To get the maximum use of resources such as machinery, labor, etc. To face unexpected situations of demand. Now let's look into different ways in how stocks are controlled. Stock level determining system. Making an attempt to hold stocks by determining various stock levels such as maximum stock level, minimum stock level, reorder level and economic order quantity is known as stock level determining system. ABC analysis. Organizations that hold a great number of material items uses ABC analysis for controlling stocks. This method is done on the value of the items and required space. Keeping stock with higher value but less number of units denoted by A. The stocks with average value and average number of units denoted by B. And the stocks with low value and more units denoted by C is known as ABC analysis. Two bin system. By keeping same kind of stocks in two bins. One being large and the other being small. First, the stocks in the large bin is used until they are finished. Then the stock is bin ordered. Until the stock comes, the stock in small bin is used. After receiving the ordered stock, first the small bin is filled. And after filling that, then the large bin is filled. Continuous stock recording system. Recording the changes in stock then and there and keeping the records up to date so as to know the balance in the store at any time is known as continuous stock recording system. Example would be bin card. In this method, separate bin cards are used for each stock item for recording the issue and receipt of stock items then and there. So the available stocks of that product can be identified instantly. Computer program. Using computer softwares and applications for controlling stock is known as controlling of stocks using computer programs. JIT method. The method of obtaining materials for production at the required time in correct quantity and delivery the output to the market immediately is known by this. This method minimizes the considerable cost incurred for storage by keeping finished goods and materials at zero level. So that's it with this video guys. Please do like and share to learn and let others learn. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.